Hey everybody, welcome back to another Hook King Tech. I'm your host Corey here, and I'm trying a little bit of a new setup, but today I wanted to talk to you about my new tablet. This is the Tab S7 Plus from Samsung, and this is the tablet I've been using for probably over a month or so now, and I wanted to give you a quick unboxing and talk to you about why I am currently loving this tablet, okay? So let's just hop right into it. Let's go. All right, so first up, let me just show you the unboxing experience. Like I said, this is the Tab S7 Plus from Samsung. Uh, this is the tablet that comes with the keyboard case as well as the S Pen. The S Pen actually comes with the Tab S7 Plus no matter what uh, configuration you buy. So that's nice. You don't have to worry about buying the extra S, buying the pen separately, it comes with it. So first up, you have this here. And this is actually your keyboard case here. So let me get this open here for you and show you this. So that's a, it's a two, -part ca two part case. So first up, you will get this back cover. And this back cover is actually what goes onto the back of the tablet. And then it also holds the S Pen for you. And that's actually where the S Pen will charge on the back of the tablet. So that's really nice. And it also has a built-in kickstand. So you can put it at any angle you like goes down pretty easily and then you can also go put it back like that but I'll show you more on that later okay and then this is the actual keyboard here so uh, it's a good keyboard the keys are got some nice travel to them but the trackpad is probably where it falls short but like I said we'll get more into this combination here shortly but you do have these keys uh, they the keys are really nice like I said but the trackpad is probably where it falls short now, the main attraction here, of course, is the tablet. It is a 12.4 inch tablet. Hello there, you can see me. But it is sleek, nice and slim. I went with the gray color here. So yeah, man, this is it. Let's go ahead and power that on. And we'll set this over here to the side for one second while that's uh, turning it on. Inside the box, like I said, you do get the S Pen here. Uh, this is pretty nifty. Uh, like I said, no need to charge this. This charge is actually on the back of the tablet. So that's really nice. And like I said, that comes included no matter which package you get. Also inside the box, you get a charger, fast charger here. You get a USB-C to USB-A cable here. So that's always nice to get. You know, phones these days are not coming with the charger in the box. So still good to see it with some tablets. And then also, you're gonna get some books, quick start guide, uh, sim ejection tool there as well. So that is pretty much everything you get inside the box. So let's actually start talking about the tablet, all right? I'll catch it. All right, now for me, a tablet is mostly a tool to play with and then also a tool to get some work done with. So for me, I need a tablet that can kind of do both, but mainly play. And for me, this tablet is definitely a tablet that I enjoy playing with. Uh, for one, let's talk about the display. Now, I've said this many times, but the display should be an amazing display on any device you get because it's the thing you interact with the most. So with this one, uh, let's run down the specs real quick. You have a 12.4 inch display. It is super AMOLED, so that means it's, o it's OLED, so the pixels turn on and off, so you can get those super deep blacks and those high, super bright colors. So display is amazing, HDR10. So if you're watching HDR content on YouTube or Netflix, it's gonna look amazing. You also have that 120 hertz refresh rate. So when you're scrolling through stuff or even watching high action movies, everything's gonna look really smooth and really nice. As like I said, as well as just when you're just scrolling through the UI, everything looks buttery smooth. Uh, it's just amazing to have a display like this on a tablet. Now, next up, let's talk about some of the hardware that you're gonna be using on this tablet. So, as well as that amazing display, you also have quad speakers. And those speakers sound amazing. So you have four speakers, you know, two at the top, two at the bottom. So when you're watching content, you're just getting blasted with sound. This does have Adobe Atmos settings that, you know, kicks up the sound, gives you that Adobe Atmos. So along with the HDR10, the 120 hertz refresh rate, and these speakers, whenever you're watching content or, you know, whatever you're doing on it, it's gonna look and sound amazing. Now, moving on from the, moving down further down the hardware spec list, you do get the S Pen with it, and this is probably the best add-on that it comes with a tablet. So the S Pen is similar to what you know you would get with an Apple Pencil or something like that. So you can take down notes, 
uh, but the cool thing about the S Pen is this one is a Bluetooth S Pen. So that means you can control media with it. It has this little button on the side. You can control media with it, play pause. You can skip tracks. You can swipe over through pictures, videos. It gives you a lot more than just your typical stylus. Uh, and like I said, this one comes with it, which is amazing. No need to spend the extra $100 comes with the tablet. Now, the bundle that I bought also comes with the keyboard. And like I said in the unboxing, I love the keyboard, and like I said, it helps me get work done, but I wish the trackpad was a little better. It's a little finicky. Uh, the keys are good, but the trackpad is just not where I want it to be. If they did, if they had to make one upgrade on this tablet, I would ask for a better trackpad on this for sure. All right, so moving further down the hardware list, let's also talk about the cameras that come on this. Now, cameras are important on a tablet. Should you be using the cameras on a tablet, at least the rig cameras? Uh, that's up to you decide. I mean, I'm not the kind of person that's gonna be sitting up there with my tablet taking pictures like this, but this one does have some nice cameras. So you have two rear cameras, you have an ultra wide and you have a regular wide angle camera. So if you do want to take pictures, you can. But to me on a tablet, the most important is going to be the front facing camera. And this one has an eight megapixel front facing camera that's capable of doing 1080p at 30 frames per second. What's all that mean? It's a good camera when you're doing your duo calls or you know video chatting or whatever or you know you just want to jump jump into a work conference or whatever the case you need to do whatever you need to do with that front facing camera it's going to look good you're not going to look muddy you're going to be able to hear really well with those quad speakers you're going to be able to see everybody really well with that beautiful display and they're going to be able to see you well with that camera so that's all that really matters now, as far as unlocking this tablet, this, one, this tablet does come with a built-in fingerprint reader right into the screen. So you just touch the screen, it opens up. You can also use that front-facing camera to unlock it. Now, that's not the most secure method of unlocking the tablet, but I mean, it's a tablet. You know, I don't take my tablet everywhere, so it's not like I need it to be super secure. Uh, but you do have some security measures as well as you can always go ahead and enter in your pen and get into it that way. Now, let's talk about the software. And this is where Android tablets sometimes fall a little short and why some people say iPads or, um, you know, iPads are the best tablets you can buy. In my opinion, that is true. If you're in the Apple ecosystem, there's no need for you to buy an Android tablet. Stick with the Apple iPads and stuff like that, you'll be a lot happier. But if you're somebody that doesn't necessarily lock, you're not necessarily locked into the ecosystem, this is a great tablet to have. You have a lot of features in this tablet that you don't necessarily get in an iPad. So let's just talk about the software experience. So first up, let's talk about Android tablet apps. Um, it's, a, it's a hit or miss bag. Uh, some apps don't really work well. Um, for instance, Instagram. Instagram just doesn't, it, it looks terrible. I don't use Instagram on this. I don't have a, I have a download. I don't think I've ever signed into it. Uh, Twitter is an app that I do use on an everyday basis on my phone, but I, I can't find myself using it on this tablet. It just doesn't, it's just too blown up. I wish they would make a specific app for Android tablets. You know, Twitter would. It's just, it doesn't, it doesn't look good. It keeps me off the app when I'm on this tablet. Now, what apps do work well are your usual apps, your Netflix, your Hulu's, your YouTube's. Uh, those apps work really well that you won't have any problems with those. So, if, like I said, for its media consumption, this is going to be a great device for that. With, the, like I said, the Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, has all those apps. All those apps work perfectly. There are no issues with those. Now, my favorite app that has come to this is the Xbox Game Pass app. And I've been using this app to play on this tablet more than any app. I, if you can see my screen time on this on this tablet, I've been playing a lot of uh, MLB The Show on this tablet and it's been a great experience. I, I hook it up with my Xbox controller and I can play games anywhere. And that's probably the best experience I've been having on this tablet is having that amazing display with the hardware and the speakers and being able to play video games on it triple-a video games at that it's just man that's that that's amazing uh so i can i can say that's probably the best app experience on this tablet now samsung does have a lot of their own tips and tips and tricks built into the tablet with one ui 3.1 uh so you do have a lot of samsung focused features uh so split screen view so you can have apps side by side if you want to take notes you want to have something else that you're taking notes on on the side 
Uh, you have all those kind of features that are really geared towards you getting work done on this tablet. So I think Samsung's done an amazing job with this tablet for us implementing their own features that Android necessarily hasn't implemented on tablets just yet. Now, let's talk about what I actually use to get work done on this tablet. And that is Samsung Dex. Now, once you hook up the keyboard and you get the screen, you get the kickstand all built out, this basically becomes a laptop. And Samsung Dex allows it to be basically a laptop. So it'll put it into this kind of like computer windows type of setup. So you'll have apps, you'll have separate windows and you can move windows around. Now each app doesn't work very well in this all the time, but your apps like Microsoft Word, Excel, you know, if you want to use Google Sheets, all that kind of stuff, all those kind of productivity apps will work really well in Samsung Dex and you can get a lot of work done with that keyboard trackpad. Um, now I'm not, I'm not a person that uses it too often, but if you're looking for something that can, like I said, double as a play device and a work device, this gives you the, that freedom to do so. Let's just clean this up real quick and talk about who should be buying this tablet. So for me, I would advise people to buy this tablet if you're not locked into the Apple ecosystem and you want a beautiful tablet. Like I said, this hardware screen, um, like that, that's why you should buy this tablet. That if you're looking for a play device and you want to watch videos, you want to play games, there's nothing like you won't find a better tablet at the price than this tablet currently. But if you're somebody who's concerned about the Android kind of like app ecosystem and you prefer to have every app optimized to its full potential, go with Apple. Like they're just gonna have better apps. They're gonna have more support for those apps inside the iPad app store. And you're also gonna get more updates like Apple it's very, very particular on keeping the iPad up to date, no matter which one you buy, whether you buy the $300 one, the $600 one, or the $1,200 one. You're gonna get amazing app support, and you're gonna get amazing support from Apple on that. I can't say that's gonna be the case with Android in the years to come, but for now, like I said, this tablet, for me, is doing the job. Like I said, watching media, playing games, all that stuff that I do on a daily basis on this tablet as a play device, it does it really well. And then like I said, when I want to get some work done, like I said, I open up the keyboard, pick up the case stand, put it to dex mode and get to work. So like I said, it's been a great tablet for me. Uh, I would eight out of 10 recommend, eight out of 10. That's, we'll give it a rate, eight out of 10. But uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, let me know uh, and we'll just catch you in the next one, okay? Peace out.